Hello children, I hope you are doing well today. Welcome to your History and Geography class. So for today, we are going to do a small revision on natural hazards. Natural hazard unit 3. Okay, we have already covered the topic of natural hazard. We are now going to do a small revision. So you remember what are natural hazards. Take a look at the picture. Okay, let us now see the meaning of the definition of what is a natural hazard. A natural hazard is an event that can cause harm to the people and the environment. So this definition you have to memorize this. Now you remember with We have taken a look on all these types of natural hazards in our book. These are all found in our book. The types of natural hazards are tropical cyclones, torrential rains, flash floods, volcanoes, earthquakes and tsunamis. We are going to take a brief, we are going to revise very briefly on all these types of natural hazards. So let us start with tropical cyclones. Let us, let us take a look now at tropical cyclones. As you can see in the picture. Let us now take a look at the parts of a cyclone. So you have this picture, take a look at this picture and take a look at the different parts written as A, B and then you have the eye of the cyclone. So now let us see in details, you have the part A where the weather is very cloudy, windy and rainy. But then you have the part B, which is nearer, as you can see, to the eye. So part B is, uh, the weather is uh, very violent. We have violent gusts and winds, very bad weather, dense clouds and heavy rainfall. So this is the part B. And then you have finally the eye of the cyclone, also known as the center of the cyclone, where there is the calm weather and a clear sky. So these are parts of a cyclone. You are going to note this down in your copy book. We are now going to see some measures to take before a cyclone, during a cyclone, and after a cyclone. Let us start with before a cyclone. You have to prepare an emergency kit consisting of lamps, candles, matches, and your radio. Ensure that your house is in good condition ensure that you have all the basic necessities such as canned food, biscuits, your water and clothes. During a cyclone, store sufficient amount of drinking water. Secure doors, windows and your vehicles. So you should not let your vehicles outside because they may be damaged by trees or fallen or electrical wires. And then during a cyclone also avoid going outside. Now after a cyclone, beware of fallen electric wires, damaged trees and other damaged buildings. So you're not going to go near uh, these fallen electric wires and damaged trees and also do not pick up uh, fallen trees. Boil water for drinking purposes. 
as the water has been contaminated. Clean yard of stagnant water. Why? To prevent the spread of uh, mosquitoes. Now, you will have all the other guidelines in your book on the page 80. So these notes over here are very uh, brief notes. You have all your details in your book. So do read in your book on the page 80 for the other guidelines and try your best to memorize some of these. So now let us move on. Before we move on to something else, let us see the direction of cyclones when they are moving towards our island. So cyclones are formed at the northeast of our island. Then they move in a south direction towards the west. So they are formed at the northeast. Then they are going to move to the southwest near our island and may affect badly our island. They then weaken around 25 to 30 degrees when they move towards the south or towards the southeast. Try to retain this information about cyclones. They are formed at the northeast. They are going to move uh, towards our island in a southwestern du direction and then when they move away from our island they move towards the south or southeast let us move on let us take a look at torrential rains Torrential rains occur when 100 mm of widespread rains occur in less than 12 hours. It is a very important sentence which you need to memorize. Torrential rains occur when 100 mm of widespread rains occur in less than 12 hours. The heavy rains are likely to continue for several hours. They happen during summer months or during cyclones. You have some precautions. For example, not to go near flooded rivers, not to go near hills and mountains prone to landslides, Move to safer place if the water level continues to rise. Let us now take a look at flash floods. After our revision of torrential rainfalls, we will move on to flash floods. Take a look at the picture. You are going to see how this natural hazard has caused harm to the environment. Flash floods occur because of climate change and development of urban areas. They occur in a sudden and unpredictable way. The word flash means sudden and unexpected. It is caused by heavy rains falling first and in an exceptional amount during a hot and humid summer day. Now we are going to compare and contrast between torrential rains and flash floods. Torrential rains happen when 100 mm of widespread rain occur in less than 12 hours. Whereas flash floods happen suddenly and in an unpredictable way. Torrential rains happen widespread, which means happens in uh, all of the country, 
whereas flash floods are localized, which means which happens in only parts of the country. Let us now revise on volcanoes. There is a picture of a volcano eruption. Volcanoes are natural hazards which cause harm to people and the environment. So how are volcanoes going to cause harm to the environment? Let us take a look. Volcanoes destroy houses, villages and roads. Volcanoes destroy plantations, forests, natural habitats of animals as well. But we should not ignore the fact that volcanoes bring to us some positive impacts as well. Let us now see the importance of volcanoes. Volcanoes So new islands are formed because of volcanoes. Volcanoes also extend surface area of islands and countries. They bring minerals and nutrients to soil. Thus, the soil becomes fertile. Also, it is a tourist attraction. One of the last natural hazards we are going to revise on today is our earthquakes and tsunamis. Take a look at the first picture. How uh, buildings, infrastructure, people's houses have been destroyed by earthquakes. And the second picture is a picture of a tsunami occurring. Earthquakes and tsunamis are not related to weather but movements that take place within the earth. Earthquakes occur when two different parts of the earth collide. This results in the violent shaking of the earth. Tsunamis occur when earthquakes occur below or near the ocean floor and cause giant waves to form. These waves travel very fast across the ocean and crash on coastal areas with force. So this was about earthquakes and tsunamis. I hope you are going to take note of the very important notes here. Okay children, that's all for today. Thank you very much for being attentive. We did a small revision on natural hazards. So I hope you are going to take important notes in your copybook. We already covered the topic of natural hazards, Unit 3. Now, for our next class, we are going to start a new topic, a new unit. So be prepared. Study well. See you later. Bye-bye.